Afton. So I am Pradeesh Ren from Department of Chemistry. I'm a research scholar in Nasser Ahmed Institute of Science and Technology, and I'm from Salem. So to stick on to the points, like I'll say, like I'm the most unluckiest person this year. Before two years, I'll feel like because basically I'm a footballer. and i was in a relationship with till uh, from my schooling so during 2020 first my relationship gone like 6 years relationship gone with the next month my football career gone because the because of that relationship i fainted from second floor terrace clavicle break my right shoulder got dislocated so everything gone i thought relationship gone my football career gone so after that i thought maybe i can travel somewhere and then find some peace I bought a bike. Within two months, that bike also gone. Someone stolen that bike. At that moment, I thought like, what is literally happening to me? Everything is going bad for me. I am the most unluckiest person in this earth. After two months, then I met Supraja. After meeting her also, I luck. I thought like, again unlucky person. I caught with Supraja is disturbing me. She is disturbing me a lot. Every disturbance only came to me like that. I thought. Then slowly, slowly I realized like, okay, something is good. Good is going to happen for me. So I started observing what is UHV first. So every day I used to go and talk to her like, this is what happening in my life. This is what happening for my whole day. My Uh, in my lab this is happening in my life this is happening i couldn't find my bike i couldn't find my relationship everything is going bad for me she used to tell like come and attend uhv uhv will help for you so starting with sunil bhai session and omesh bhai session initially first two workshop i didn't get any clarity it was like for me like they are talking something about humanity i'm a kind of person used to travel lot inside forest i used to go and stay inside forest so while staying inside forest i used to realize myself by looking at the stars like something is very beautiful in this world let me explore in this way then i thought like uhv is something very different from my exploration then i started relating the coexistence between the self and the forest there is something directly touching to me after that only i got to know like uhv is actually helpful for me so slowly i started exploring in that way so after that i have to work on my competence level i i am a person who used to get angry all the time every time for a single moment i'll get angry so after coming into uhv i read, i actually i have to work on my competence level still i'm working on that still i say like i'm not a complete person like pure observer state at that time maybe i have, i have to work on that and then coming to feeling of gratitude what i have to mention it very clearly here being a research scholar in physics or chemistry branch it is not easy to attend a uh workshop here you could not find any scholars here because that much intense pressure we can receive from our super research supervisors but my supervisor is like gem of anything if i say like sir uh is coming go attend explore anything don't come to me you do go and attend whatever you want and come and say whatever you are listened in that workshop so that kind of person is so i have to thank him really i have to thank him a lot so i I think I have met him before 20 days. Still no, no calls, no messages. Go explore whatever you want, and then come back to me. Like that, he'll say. So these kind of things I've explored a lot into UHV, and then future plans and commitment. So I have to start attending the morning sessions regularly to explore much about myself, and then. specific plan for self development i actually said like I have to work on my competence level, role in human education, and then commitment is like. i'll commit myself to move into uhv after till end of my lifetime and i've committed myself to do a research on uhv exploration and what is the impact of uhv on people so these are my commitments thank you yeah i'll go <laughs>